Your redstone ideas are stupid, and I mean that in the best possible way. I asked for your silly redstone ideas in a YouTube community post, and 13,000 people responded. That is a silly number of silly redstone ideas. So I've picked 10 of my favorites out of the bunch, and I've built them. Tino Gore has asked me to build a redstone door that runs away from you when you try to use it. So here we have our rather nice looking redstone door. You may notice we're a little bit higher than you would perhaps expect for the terrain, but it's nothing to freak out about. The border made of lodestones is an interesting stylistic choice, but I quite like it. So I guess all we have to do now is go through our door. That is a lot more piston noises than you would perhaps expect. And our door just travels off, opening and closing as it goes. I mean, that's, that's kind of mildly insulting. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know what I would do if I was on a Minecraft server and somebody pulled this as a prank because it's such an unnecessarily stupid prank that requires so much effort to make it work. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's so ridiculous. Oh, we might be about to have a bit of a collision here. This is the one thing about these walking machines. Uh, basically, any block that gets in the way is a gigantic issue. Let's see how well this thing fares. Um, doesn't look like it's gonna fare, but wait, hang on, what? <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought it had survived. It has survived! It's taken the tree with it! What? <laughs> There's no stopping my door! Seriously, it's still going! It's just eating that door! It's just eating this as well! I'm actually speechless. Fernie Ferris Fern has asked me to add functionality to defunct Minecraft objects. For example, the fletching table. It is time for me to make Cub Fan proud. In my hands, I have all the ingredients to make an arrow, so I'm just gonna throw the stick on the floor, I'm gonna throw the flint on the floor, and then finally the feather, and we should see our redstone lamps will turn on as the ingredients are registered, and there we go. We have got ourselves arrows coming out of the fletching table, and I personally believe if they actually add functionality to the fletching table, uh, this is how it should happen. The arrows should be fired out at you. We should get ourselves one full stack. That is it. It took me a long time to get it exactly one full stack, so please appreciate it. I gotta say, I really like this thing. I, I love the idea of building this somewhere on a server. This idea isn't so silly after all. 6022 has asked me to make a clapper. A clapper is essentially the old school version of Alexa. You, you clap and it turns on and off your lights. Now they suggested that I use calibrated skulk sensors to detect when the player is jumping and when they do two jumps, it will turn the lights on or off. But the issue is I jump around all the time. I'm just an excitable guy. Pharrell Williams can't have a clapper, I can't have a jumper. It's just the way it is. So instead I've designed this room so that when I put my helmet on, that activates the light switch. I gotta say, this is ridiculously satisfying. Can you imagine a system like this existing in real life? How hilarious would that be? Actually incredibly dystopian. Imagine if your Alexa would only turn on the lights if you were wearing your official Amazon merchandise. Jeffrey says put on the cap. Otherwise you'll stay in the dark. Old Fanner has asked me to make a maze without walls. Now I've actually done something like this in the past, making use of fence posts under carpet, but this new system, making use of skulk sensors, is considerably more evil because you can't work on making any progress. You see, with the old system, you'd be able to bump around and eventually find your way through, whereas as soon as you step off of this one, you just get teleported back to the start, which means you have to remember the route and this is incredibly hard. The only way that I can possibly do it is because I've left a template on the floor. Without it, it's a literal nightmare. A nightmare that can of course be defeated by just sneaking, but still, it's a nightmare. This was super easy to build, by the way, and could be done in survival if you just killed the player instead of teleporting them, which sounds lovely. What scared me more was his inability to do simple turns. I genuinely have no idea what that comment is about. I don't understand what it could possibly be in reference to. It must be some kind of mistake because I personally am absolutely fantastic at simple turns. Evidently not. Okay, maybe the boat was the problem. Maybe the just easy. Take it real easy on the turning. See? Oh gosh, that actually scared me. Moving very swiftly on from that one, Neo Peewee has asked me to make a simple redstone contraption, but build it to be waterproof. Now they said that I could encase breakable redstone components inside of blocks, but honestly that seems a little bit boring. So here I've used 100% waterproof redstone, which to be honest, given that the observer is so overpowered, actually isn't that difficult. This bottom circuit is pretty horrific, but it does the job. So here we have a fully underwater 3x3 piercing door. When I right click this note block, you can see everything opens up relatively quickly. It even has a slight spiral pattern, although it's 
It's not really the best spiral pattern. It's still a kind of spiral pattern, but given we are currently very much under the sea, I would say this is pretty good. It's also it's satisfying to watch. I want to build an underwater base now. Oh, it seems like I haven't actually taken a screenshot of this comment, which is a little bit embarrassing, but they've asked me to make the most annoying song machine. Now, prior to the Minecraft 1.20 snapshot, this would just be spamming a whole bunch of note blocks that are all out of tune with one another to make some disgusting noises. But now that jukeboxes can interact with hoppers and droppers and they give all sorts of redstone signals and things, uh, we can make a machine that just constantly plays music disc number 11, which it's, it's just not a good existence to live in a world where this machine also exists. Nothing spikes my anxiety quite like this song. Just when you think it's going to end, it starts again. It never ends. You can never escape number 11. Crystal Drawings has asked me to build a machine that seems like an item sorter, but secretly steals your items slow enough so you think you just forgot. Well, it seems like we've just revealed Grian's alt account. This machine does exactly what it says on the tin. If I put a bunch of items into here, they will gradually be fired out into the water stream and occasionally the item will be picked up by the first hopper. Now this is all controlled by a very slow redstone clock that only fires every now and again. And it's only when the redstone clock fires it allows an item to drop through. We've almost made it through all of our items. So we put in a stack of everything, and if we take a look, you can see that we're kind of missing three, four, or five items from each, and they have all been funneled into this, this sneaky little chest back here. Don't build one of these in your mate's storage system because that is illegal. I tell you what else should be illegal, hiding cake. Why would you want a cake that you can't eat? This isn't a silly redstone idea, this is a nasty redstone idea, but I've built it anyway because I'm a nasty guy. What is that that I see on the horizon? Is that a delicious looking cake? Is that... Is that a Victoria sponge I see on the horizon? Well, I couldn't possibly pass up this opportunity. I'm going to run towards it and... I can... I can no longer see the cake. It was there a second ago. If I stand really still, maybe I will be able to access the Victoria sponge. Okay, we need to be real careful about this. I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run. <laughs> I almost got there. All of this talk of Victoria sponge actually brings me nicely onto this redstone contraption by the Lancelot, who has asked me to make the most British redstone contraption ever created. Well, I have tried my absolute best. So here we have our rather nice looking three by three piston door. All we have to do is put our water bottle into the chest. And yeah, we, we've received a thank you from the system. It does take a while to open. That's because, you know, that there's there's a lot of delays in England, everything's kind of late. Now you may notice we've got some signs here that say mind the gap, uh, and that is, yep, just about did it. Now we, we do have a little sincere apology for the delay in the piston door opening, but the good thing is we're also greeted with crumpets and tea and a lovely little fireplace too. Oh, and a bunch of books as well, because everyone in England pretends that they read a lot. Jolly good. Uh, lovely jubbly. I hope that you enjoyed this this Minecraft video viewing experience and hopefully I will see you again soon. Toodle pip, cheerio, um, bon voyage. No, that's definitely French. That's French.